Hello YouTube, um, this is Elvin here, another project with um, the Arduino and Houdini. So today what I have right is uh, this little piece here on my Arduino. Um, see this little piece of uh, red PCB? Um, well this is um, an ADXL335 analog um, accelerometer. Um, the accelerometer itself is actually this little black dot. You know this little black square in the middle of the um, the PCB itself, and uh, what I'm doing right now, right, is actually um, I'm actually getting Houdini to send uh, a message over to the Arduino every frame, basically, and uh, you know it just goes, uh, hey Arduino, tell me that you know what rotation values are are coming off the uh, you know the computer stuff of the um, accelerometer, and uh, give those rotation values to me. So these rotation values are just directly pumped um, into the rotation you know, parameters in um, Houdini, thus giving us um, you know, almost real-time um, rotations here uh, on screen. Right? Now you can notice right, there's actually a bit of a lag in between uh, the rotates and uh, you know, the updates on screen. Now this is um, mainly because I'm filtering the data on the Arduino because um, if you don't filter it right, the, the output right, the results right, actually get quite jerky. Um, the downside is, uh, you know, it introduces a bit of a lag, uh, but uh, you know, gives us a smooth result. Um, now this is probably because I'm using, uh, you know, just a very simple moving average filter. And um, in order to get the smoothness you see on screen here, right, um, I'm actually using a window of um, 100 points, if I'm not mistaken. So it samples, you know, you know, uh, samples the Arduino's uh, data, like you know, 100, uh, 100, 100 times, adds them all up, and uh, you know, takes the average of that. So um, yeah, so because of that, that's a lag. I'm sure there are other more advanced filters. Uh, you know, I've read on them like the Kalman and stuff like that, but uh, it's a way beyond my head right now. So that's probably something I'll tackle down the road. But uh, yeah, so so the basic idea between this concept is right. Um, you know, at every frame, right, we get Houdini to send. You know, just tell the Arduino, hey, give me two values, and uh, we'll update this. All right. So um, let's take a closer look at uh, on the board. All right, let's take a look at um, how the ADXL is um, connected to the Arduino itself. So what we have here right, is a surface mount um, ADXL two three five. Um, well, it's a uh, surface mounted to this red color PCB, the breakout board. On the breakout board itself, right, um, we only need like five connections. Um, this red and uh, blue uh, connection points here, right, these are you know, just ground and uh, power. And uh, the other three connections between uh, the ADXL 335 and uh, the Arduino, right, are between is um, the outputs for um, the individual X's, the XYZ outputs connected to each of uh, the analog ins. So the circuit, you know, well, the circuit between uh, the ADXL and uh, Arduino is really straightforward. Um, the bulk of the the project, right, involved, um, you know, sampling the values um, using like analog read and stuff like that uh, on the Arduino itself. Um, and once you get all those uh, voltages sampled, right, you need to find a way to convert them to um, the proper values. Then uh, running them through, you know some mathematical functions like A102 in order to get um, the proper rotation values and since like A102 returns you values you know of between like 0 and 360 you you need to well for this project right I had to remap the values to those that are suitable for for Houdini's use and um, apart from that right um, a lot of it was uh, actually not a lot of it um, the the way you know it, it receives the character from Houdini, there's like just a control character. It just keeps monitoring the serial input coming from uh, you know just it just monitors the serial input, and uh, basically I, um, I just you know on every frame right I get Houdini to send a single character over to the Arduino, and uh, once it detects this particular character, so it, it won't just you know react to any character or inputs right. It reacts to a specific character. Um, the Arduino will basically, you know, quickly update the moving averages and uh, send the updated averaged values back to Houdini, and uh, you know, Houdini just reads it and does it for every single frame. So yeah, that's about about this. 
All right, so now that we've gone through the hardware, let's take a look at um, the Houdini software side. So what I have to drive this particular effect, right, is just um, a Python object. So you can just go to File, New Operator Type to create a new Python object. And uh, inside this Python object, it's just a regular box, right? So what's um, driving this effect, right, is um, some code inside the script section. We have two sections here, the pre-first create and post last delete. Um, these two sections basically set up and uh, shut down the serial communications between my laptop and the Arduino. So here, right, what you have here is import serial. And after that, it um, basically, you know, sets up the serial port. Um, I'm storing this um, serial port as an object under who.session. So basically, you know, sort of a global variable I can assess from other parts of the script that's not local to just this portion here, right? So post last delete just um, does who.session.sir, which is the name of my object, dot close, and um, just shuts down uh, the communication port. Now in the Python module itself, right, um, every the, this particular um, function here, what it does, right, is uh, when it, when it's called, it will actually flush the serial port. So you know if there's characters there, it's just going to clear them out. Um, then it's going to send the character W. So the character W is my control character. So I'm sending W to the Arduino. Um, immediately, immediately after sending double W, it's um, going to read the serial port twice. Now, why it's doing that, right? Is um, when I send W to the Arduino, right? The Arduino itself will reply with um, two values, which is um, you know the X and Y rotations. So each of these reads, right, will actually read the X value and uh, the Y value from the Arduino. And uh, it stores them into, um, you know, again, right, I'm storing them into who.session under, you know, X and Y variables. Um, these two little sections here just basically return um, the ADXL, well, this variable which I'm calling ADXLX and ADXLY uh, from who.session. It runs update values to, you know, update the values, then returns these values to whatever is calling them. So what's calling them, right, is actually the box, the box object um, on here, right, the rotate on the X and uh, Z. Um, there's actually some uh, Python code here. So basically this Python code is just calling, um, you know, the script that was written here in the script section here, get X and get, get Y, um, here X and Y, because um, the, you know, Although it's Z here, right? Um, the, Ar the Arduino axis and uh, sorry, the ADXL 355's axis and uh, the axes on um, Houdini, right, are slightly different. So this is the proper way to set them up. So um, you know, by default, right? Let's say if I have the accelerometer here, right? Um, although the values are actually being updated on the accelerometer itself, um, we don't get anything because uh, on here on screen because. Um, the, the Python script needs to run to update to see these values change, right? So um, the only way to update them is um, to, to play, just hit play. So you can see, right, um, probably tough to see on the screen, but um, the values here are updating. Um, yep, so you can see, right, once you hit play, um, yeah. All right, so what we have here, we finally got a accelerometer connected to an Arduino. And uh, this setup, right, is giving us live data over to Houdini. So what can we do with it? Let's take a look. Now, what I have here is a um, real-time DOPS static object that's being controlled by, you know, the Arduino input data. And uh, I'm using it to drive the collisions and stuff like that. So, ping. Let's take a look. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah, the shadow maps are a bit offset, but uh, yeah, I think you get the idea. Whee! All right, so this concludes um, what I'm planning to show today. So, you know, get an idea, work on it, make it real. All right, good night, ladies and gentlemen.